Roger Casares was born in the town of San Francisco de Loro in the state of Chihuahua, Mexico. His father was a copper miner and labor organizer who fought for better conditions for the workers and families of the town. Uh, my father's uh, experience, who had a passion for justice and equality, uh, particularly in terms of how a company or owners of a company, a company treated their employees. His father's work created many positive changes in the town of San Francisco de Loro, but also put the family at risk. When Roger was four years old, his family fled from the town to Tijuana and eventually immigrated to the United States. We first moved from Tijuana to San Isidro and then to Frontier Homes in uh, Old, town, Old Town San Diego. There was a large government housing project that had several thousand units and uh, was very low income housing. I remember we could go from one unit to the next through the holes in the walls. While working at the steel company NASCO, Roger's father saved enough money to purchase a home in Shelltown, a neighborhood in Southeast San Diego. When we moved from um, Frontier Homes to Shelltown in the late 40s, to me it was beautiful. It was like uh, countryside. The community there was very close and it was very diverse. Matter of fact, I have a little photograph uh, of our uh, basketball team at Balboa School and it's like the United Nations. My parents were poor and with 11 children, so my dad would take us up for three months in the summer. And I remember probably ages eight, nine, and 10, we did it for about three years to pick crops. And we lived in the orchards in San Jose, Coyote, uh, primarily picking prunes. My brother Louis was a shaker. He would shake the prunes off the trees, they'd fall on the ground and then you go with baskets and you pick them up off the ground. It's like a purple sea. And as far as you can see, a row of trees in the orchard. You start at one end and you pick till you get to the other end. And you think you're finished and you turn around the corner and there's another long row. You know what, reflecting back on it, I think it was a great experience. I, uh, I learned a lot. I learned to become ambidextrous so I could used both my hands and I could see behind me. I knew how to measure people. I learned politics that way. In time, Roger's parents moved the family from Shelltown to National City. His parents stressed the importance of good education and helping others. My father went to school to about the fourth grade. He was probably the brightest person I ever met in my life. He used to read my college books and I was going to San Diego State taking an economics course and he read my semester book in a couple of nights and he told me, mira mijo, esto está bien, esto está mal. My mother uh, actually, I think, really kept the family together. She raised 11 children, even as we grew up in Shelltown, in National City, particularly in Shelltown, uh, she always grew everything we ate. She was an amazing woman. She was the kindest woman I ever met in my life. She'd give everything away, even if meant we didn't have it. Once she gave the kitchen table and the chairs away to another family because they didn't have one, and then we didn't have one. <laughs> Roger completed high school and was drafted into the Army. After his two years of service, he returned to San Diego to continue his education. While attending college, he was given a job at San Diego Trust and Savings Bank. And I worked there until I graduated from San Diego State. And I left in 1969 because I wanted to work in a community organization that had started up in National City called the MAC Project. So I took a leave of absence from the bank and started as a job developer at MAC in 1969 and never did go back to the bank. Roger's dedication and hard work for the community was recognized, and in 1975, he became president of MAC Project. Connie Hernandez worked with Roger during his many years of leadership. Well, over his uh, 27, probably 28 years of working for MAC, I think a tremendous amount of growth took place under his leadership. MAC began as uh, basically a social service organization in National City. I remember someone mentioning just this morning that they remembered a time when there were seven staff people at MAC. Last year we celebrated our 40th anniversary here at MAC. We have over 40 sites throughout the county 
from San Isidro all the way to Carlsbad and Oceanside. We do education, health services, social services, housing, technology centers. Uh, he'll be the last to take credit for any of that, but it was through his leadership that all of this has been accomplished. One of many achievements during Roger's time as leader of MAC Project was the creation of a low-income housing complex called the Mercado Apartments. The complex opened in 1994 and offered 144 apartments to the residents of Barrio Logan. And the problems with affordable housing in San Diego is that there aren't enough funds committed to affordable housing. And what we uh, decided to do was look into de developing affordable housing. So uh, the Mercado Apartments became our first project. Barrio Logan, I think, is a crit critical stage because of the gentrification that's taking place around it. Uh, the property values have risen so much that the families have been pushed out or are being pushed out. I think that uh, uh, we have to really invest in securing some of these properties for families that are here. In 2004, Roger retired after 35 years of public service. Some people have asked why would he dedicate his life to such work. Because I wanted to be involved in making uh, change in the community, improving the, the uh, conditions of the communities in which I grew up in. And I guess I had a passion uh, for, uh, for justice that uh, I think I learned from my parents. Well, uh, my parents, you know, uh, their upbringing of all the kids, not just me, I think that uh, we all grew up you know, from an experience, you know, by having experienced uh, a struggle, and from that struggle, know that uh, too many people, you know, continue uh, on, the mar on the margin in the society. He really believed in the work we do here at MAC. His heart was in it, and people like that are very hard to find. People like that, even in leadership positions, are hard to find. So actually, he he was brought into an arena that fascinated him. He was brought into an organization that, and a movement actually, for which he had a passion, something he believed in. That's what you do. You, you go with your passion. You go and do the work that you love to do. And then that brings true happiness in life. Roger could have been anything. He could have been a bank president. He could have been mayor of the city. He could have gone, he'd done whatever he wanted. But he chose to do this work. I have often been asked uh, while I was at Mac Project for 34 years whether I would change my job and uh, actually I was offered other jobs uh, but no I would never have changed my job. Uh, I left the bank and um, at a time when the bank grew from uh, San Diego Trust and Savings from four branches to 28 branches so I was in the executive track at that bank when that happened but I would never have, you know, changed my job. I had uh, such a great experience at Mac Project. Although he is retired, Roger continues to improve the community. Roger's commitment to helping others inspires him to make life better for people throughout San Diego.